So I've created a little rig and I'm just going to run through and show you how you can set up a arm like this on an angle poise lamp. It has a contracting and expanding spring and a target for the head of the lamp as well. Um, I will do it pretty quickly and pretty speedy and just show you the general kind of guts of it and uh, I'll leave you to it. I understand there are some people who uh, are a lot smarter than me and have fancy, way of do fancy ways of doing things, but I'm actually using the simple basic line rig. So this actually has divisions and I feel like as soon as I do this, people are just going to be like, oh, sheesh balls, that's absolutely not as, not as exciting as I thought it was going to be. And I totally agree. So what we've got here is we've got this option to change the length of it. So I can just link the length from my rubber hose into the length of the line. And then I can just increase that. So what we can do here as well is just going to create a segment path. And we'll put our basic line into the segment path. So the segment path has this option here, which is number of cuts. I'm just going to change that to automatic cuts. That way it'll just have two lines automatically. You've got this option here uh, to extend and you can change this to start, stop or both. I'm just going to leave that as standard at the moment. Cool. So I'm just going to add a sub mesh and in our sub mesh, I'm going to come into replace stroke. And if I expand this, you're going to obviously see that expanded out. But uh, I want the bottom line to be the bottom arm here thinner than the top line. So I can actually just create an array and pop that straight in there and change that to 20, this to 35. There we go. And in our sub mesh as well, going back to our stroke, I'm going to change this to round. And I'm going to change this color as well. So we can add an array in here. And I'll just add whatever colors work. So I also had some little bolts on that last one. And I'm just going to bring this one right down. And I'm going to click on duplicator. And I want to duplicate it here. I'm going to change this from grid to shape points. And I'm going to put that basic line in there. And since it's sitting on top of the segment path and this basic line, it's going to be sitting fine. It is there, even though it looked like it was kind of disappearing. Now I'll create the spring and I'll just create a couple of dummy objects. I'm just going to create some circles shrink it right down and on the position just right click and then add a pathfinder and then on the pathfinder we're going to put in the basic path and we can move this along to where we want let's do 40 just because it's nice to have a little round uh, round number and i'm just going to pull this one top and i'll duplicate this to the bottom and then I can just come in here and I can shimmy this one down about a little bit as well. 65 maybe. I'm just going to create a line between them. And to do that, I select, I'm select i selecting them both. And then just type it in PK points to path. So you could probably use a connect object in this instance. But since I had that script set up, I'm just going to run with that. So what the points to path script does is it basically just creates an array here and adds the shape positions. Okay, I'll add some divisions. I'll add an oscillator and I'll add a subdivide. Okay, so with this oscillator, I'm going to change to use normals. And I'm just going to crank this up a little bit until it looks okay. I'm just all just doing this all based on I, so it might not be perfect. And then from here, when we move these around, you can see 
it um, opens and closes. As you can see, when we move this around, the, the line just juts out at the back there. So we can just jump into our basic line and just turn that off. That way we won't have any, any issues. Um, we can also just group that and oops, pop it down below. So what I'm going to do here is just link this position into my lamp head. And then you can see it just copies it around. And I'm also just going to create a target. And I'm just going to use a target because it's going to fit into our look at. So but I'm going to make this wireframe. And I'm just going to shrink it down. <clears throat> so in our rotation, just right click there and go look at. And in our look at, we can just pop our target. And flip it around. So there we have it. And I'm just going to change the color. So, and then you have the basics of your lamp.